there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you haven't guessed, I am an educator as well as an educational video professional. In my school, we were having some training, and people were coming to me to learn a little bit about Tinkercad. And I needed signs to show them how to get to my room. And to make my signs, I used the Globe Forge and I used Inkscape. And let me show you how. I do need to mention that this is possible because of this awesome resource that we have donated to us. We have tons of this white kind of cardboardy material that's used for making it looks like medicine boxes. But by having this, it makes the whole project feasible. Another reason why I'm doing this on the Glowforge is I can use a much larger piece of tag board than I can if I were trying to print it. And shoot, I can't even print on tag board. So, Let's start by getting our template. Once again, I'm doing new from template, and I'm going to use the Glowforge templates. If you don't have them, I will have a link in the corner so that you can get to those videos as well. I'm going to use the awesome fit view so that it actually fills the workspace for me. And now I'm going to add my text. Now, I was having my people find me at HL my text, so I'm just going to type that for giggles anyways. As soon as I'm done typing, I'm going to find a font that I think I want the kids to be able to trace. I like these ones with the sharp edges, so I'm just going to hit apply. And then I'm going to tell it that I want it to be as big as the paper. And then this time, I don't want to mark all this filled in area. So I'm going to go to fill and stroke, and I'm going to say no fill. I'm going to say yes, I want stroke. And then I'm going to make that stroke pretty thin so there's even less area to mark. Because all I need is for something because all I need is an outline for the kids to fill in with colors. I could of course make these into a stencil that the kids trace, but I prefer this because they have less work. All I have to do is color it in. Because we cannot bring text into the Glowforge app, we are going to use a new one. We are going to use Stroke to Path. Once we use Stroke to Path, I'm going to do the Object Ungroup, and then I'm going to do the Path. I'm going to grab them all first. Let's make sure I got them all selected, even though I thought I did. Never hurts to double check. And then with everything selected, I'm going to do path union. So they're now one big piece. Let's choose file save as. And I'm going to put it in my keychains folder. And I'm going to call it HLMT for HL Mod Tech. I'm going to put a two after it because I've probably done this once or twice. And I'm going to save this one today as a plain SVG. And let's take it to the Glowforge and see what we get. All right, so let's just do upload and find our file in that keychains folder. You can see here that my tag board is a little bit small. That is just because I'm using a scrap because I really don't need this one. I'm just showing you the technique. So I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. Grab one of those lines and move it into position. And let's set some settings to mark it so that it's able to be colored in by my students. So what I found is I could go to manual and I could type 1000. I could set this for 15 or 20. I'm going to go 20 this time. And then the lines per centimeter are kind of slick. I can do it as few as I want to make it faster. It still gives us enough lines so that we can actually check it out. So I'm going to do the select material. This is one millimeter thick, so I'm just going to do uncertified and hit submit. And let's see what we get. Everybody loves that little white button. There it is. So there it was, it took about eight minutes for it to finish, but now I've got something that the kids can color in and it ends up being a pretty darn nifty sign using material I have for free and the Glowforge, which I think is pretty darn slick. Friends, if you found this useful, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.